see this doesn't make sense right i'm just gonna have to crop it hello everyone basically i'm getting a little bit confused because everyone was commenting on my last video saying that um the like the proportion of the camera is wrong because i'm filming on my camera um and i agree it is wrong it's like really boxed in but I can't figure out how to change the settings. Like I can change the settings so that it's to the right one that everyone wants it on. And then I press record and then it goes to a different setting. Anyways, just got out of the shower. And I just wanted to show you guys what I've been sent. These new lip glosses. So I basically just thought that I'd have a little chat with you guys and try on my new lip, lip glosses. I look like really weird. I'm in a really weird angle. Obviously, where I'm pregnant, I put a little bit of weight on. So I don't really want to be sat at a really, really bad angle. <laughs> And everyone will be like, oh my god, she looks the size of a hippo. I don't know that I am nowhere near the size of a hippo. Because hippos are rather large. Anyways, let's go out of the shower. Right, I'm just going to put like some moisturiser on before we get started. I am so busy at the moment that... I need to film, I've got two more YouTube videos that have to be filmed. I've got a lingerie YouTube video, which is for a brand called Ember Underwear. I've got two sets to try on and show you guys. Um, and then I also have some sets from a brand called OK, O-W-K-O-Y. -O it's like um, loungewear sort of thing. And I've got to show you all of that. So they're going to be coming this week. I really need to just get back on to my youtube game because i've seriously been slacking not gonna lie and i am seeing the results of not posting a lot and it's a shame because like in my first few months my youtube was going up and up and up and now like i'm seeing a decline in subscribers which is obviously sad but hopefully we can change that around and get that back up again it's hard because I don't really know what you guys want to see. Like, obviously, I know what videos do get the most views, which are normally my try-on hauls. But I do want to show you, like, a bit more about my lifestyle. I don't know. Maybe I should just not think about the subscriber count. Not think about the money. The money. Mon not think about the money, basically. And just post what I want to post. And then, yeah, I don't really want to make it a job. Anyways, so the brand that I'm going to try on these lip glosses from is called Merit. Um, it's called Ombre Pomade, and that looks really nice. Wait, let's wait for it to focus. Nope, I always do that. I was trying to put... I am not a YouTube bug, as you can tell. This is what it looks like. Oh, it's focused. Oh my God, don't look at my nails. I had my acrylics on, and they all got ripped off, so they look... I look like I've got like little stubs for nails. Oh, don't look at them. Um, but how nice does that look? And then I... So this shade is shade Jetta? Jetta? Is it shade Jetta? I think it's called Jetta. Let's see. We we'll, we'll know if we... No, it isn't called that. Sorry, that is completely wrong. Yeah, it is. It's called J-E-T-E -E, Jetta. don't know how you pronounce that. Um, ooh. This one's in colour taupe. So I didn't know like whether to get a darker one. Let me show you. Ooh, that looks nice. Nice. Didn't know I able to get like a dark one or like a peachy one, so I got both. These are both gifted, by the way. Never heard of this brand or used this brand before, so it's going to be a real first time for everything. Um, I'm sure these will look a lot nice if I did have makeup on already, but I'm just going to try them on without makeup and we'll see. It might just add like a little bit of natural. Okay, so this is the Jade. Jade? This is the shade Jetta. I don't know how to pronounce that. Like, I know that's wrong. I'm going to get a bit closer so that you can see a bit better. Please do ignore the spots all over my chin. So that it gives like a really subtle glow. It's a lip oil. Ooh. Not gonna lie, I kind of like that, especially where I've got no makeup on. Like it's really subtle and kind of nice there's a dri delivery driver outside my house and i'm hoping it's what i've ordered that is like just a really really subtle one and i can wear it with no makeup a hundred percent and just like with my hair slicked back i normally have my hair slicked back in the weekdays because my hair is crazy curly that it just doesn't look 
good unless I style it properly or straighten it. And I don't really want to straighten it for no reason because I like to wash my hair basically every single day. I love a shower. Shower is like my downtime. So I always have, sometimes I have two showers a day. Love a shower and you can't have a shower and not wash your hair. Like my shower, just sit down, wash your hair, let it all run over you. Just that is my time where I can just relax. Anyways, what was I even talking about? Oh, my hair. <laughs> That's like a cute color. Right, I'm gonna have to wipe this off somehow. Uno momento. Right, we have got no lips again. Nothing on the lips. This is uh, shade top. Right, let's open it up. Ooh, that one looks like a little bit of a thicker. I don't know if that's gonna focus or not. That looks like a bit of a thicker pigment. It's not good. Oh yeah, look. Oh no, it's not really focusing. Anyway, it looks a bit thicker. But again, it is a lip oil. It's not like a lipstick. It's an oil, so it's gonna be clear, like see through. Opaque. Okay, so this one I think I would wear with lip liner if I had done all of my makeup. I don't think I'd wear this one without makeup because it is a little bit darker. Does it need rubbing in a bit? I don't know if like you can see well on this camera or not because I'm not using, my, my skin is just gross. Um, what do we think? It's obviously a little bit darker. That's why I think I should wear it with like makeup, like a face of makeup, some blusher. Oh my God, so I just fell off my window so without me touching it. Creepy. Um, a little bit of, you know, BB cream, some bronzer, hair slicked back. Ooh. There's an airfield really close to my house. So I hear really loud out of the time. That's why I just heard that. Oh, I actually kind of like this. I don't know. I think I prefer Jete, whatever you want to call it. Jete? I know my sister would know how to pronounce it because she knows how to pronounce everything correctly. Um, I think I prefer this one, Jete, for the daytime. This one if I had more makeup on because it's looking a little bit harsh without any makeup on. On my pale skin. But yeah. I really like these. I'm going to use these as every day. It's like... 100 trillion zillion percent i will be using these every single day so thank you merit for sending me they come in these cute little boxes um and yeah i will tag them below because i do recommend these i think they're really nice and um, let's just have a look at what they say oh they're vegan and cruelty 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 free someone's coming to my door no they're not um, they're vegan and cruelty free, which is fabulous. I'm a vegetarian, as everyone probably knows. You might not know that about me, but I don't eat meat. I haven't eaten meat since I could talk and ask what was in food. So I was about two or three when I stopped eating meat. Um, obviously, my mum gave me like meatballs or like food like that. I, I remember eating meatballs before I knew that meatballs had meat in them. I mean, obviously, I knew that they were called meatballs, but my like three year old brain didn't know that, that meant dead animal um so i don't eat animals so the fact that this brand is really is vegan and cruelty free really makes me happy it makes my heart happy and yeah i might have a look at what else they have on their website because so far so good i really like it packaging's cute looks classy and it's a yes from me so thank you merit for sending me these lip glosses Anyways, should we just do a quick bump reveal? Because obviously I'm pregnant, if you didn't know. And then I'm going to close off the video. I'm going to show you guys. So I am 15 weeks and three days pregnant. And this is the bump today. I have eaten breakfast and lunch. But I'm still hungry. I think I might get myself some more lunch. The thing is, I can't actually cook in my own kitchen. Like, it makes me feel sick. I can't cook my own food. Um, so I'm basically having to eat out everywhere. My mum brought me around like a load of batches of pasta that I could just put in the microwave. Not in the microwave, I could just put in the oven. I don't put pasta in the microwave. I mean, you could, but I just choose not to because then the cheese doesn't go crispy. Um, but yeah, so, and then she made me a load of like overnight oats, which I've been eating. Um, but yeah, I might have to go get myself like a sandwich or something or a bagel from the shop. 
because your girl is hungry. I went into the bagel shop the other day, got a bagel and a Nutella crepe and a milkshake. And they were like, do you still want the crepe? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, I'm pregnant by the way. That's why I can't stop eating. Anyways, that's the entire video. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this little catch up and the trying on some lip glosses. And yeah, let me know what you want to see this week because I'm going to be taking the suggestions and doing them. You know, when I'm like, I like to listen to you guys. I like to chat with you guys. I like to respond to you guys. And yeah, let me know what you want to see me do. Love you always. Thanks for watching. Bye.